play? There we go. And action! <laughs> How are you doing? This is Peter. This is Lori. And this is Hamilton. And we're here from Action Heroes Los Angeles. And a Heroes subsidiary of Heroes Character Rental Service. Ah, yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're here to do another movie review. Uh, this is a movie I picked. And my, my screen in the background is not rolling, so I'm going to get that to go. Uh, called The Art of Self-Defense. Um, <laughs> now this is a film I heard about from some critics. I didn't. <laughs> I'd never heard of this movie until like last year. I heard some cri critics mention it. They didn't not. Re I don't think they reviewed it so much. They just mentioned how much they liked it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of stuck in my head. Hi, <laughs> hi, yeah, yeah. I think that was yeah, yeah or KK. Anyway, it's the neighbor's grandkids. So <laughs> with some light up shoes, that was cute. <laughs> anyway. So I picked this movie, and anybody, I didn't know very much I, about it. But. You know, I told you, Laurie, I, I had seen, I'm sorry, Peter. Mm -hmm. you no, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I, I had seen Jesse Eisenberg, like, the night before you told me about this oh, wow. movie. In oh, you saw it in a movie. A movie <laughs> called uh, The Varian, which I, I, I recommend because it's, it's interesting. It's about this couple who go to see this house. They're trying to look for a house. To potentially buy and they get I don't want to give anything away but they get stuck in this house for the rest of the movie and it's literally like like a reflection of what we're going through with quarantine mm -hmm. it, I mean I don't think it's intentional but it's ironic that like they literally spend their days and nights like mm -hmm. like that's what it feels like living in quarantine every mm -hmm. day is like nothing going on and you just kind of like at home all the time, you know. Okay. But well, I got, I got a, I've got a better story. I saw him in Batman versus Superman. Ah, okay. Well, well, let me put something in the middle there to uh, give it some gravity. I'm, hold on, hold on, know. hold on. Let me put something in the middle to, to give it some gravity. What I was going to tell you, there's another movie he's in called The Squid and the Whale, which is, I'll just say, is another movie I recommend. Let's get back to the main I know, let's talk about this movie, movie, okay? The Heart of Self-Defense. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. So Jesse Eisenberg stars as this kind of nerdy, nebbish accountant who gets mugged, mm -hmm. and in the process of his fear of living the rest of his life in fear of getting mugged again, uh, he, he finds a karate school and decides to take karate and mm -hmm. builds his self-esteem the only thing it takes the movie takes a dark comic turn uh, mm -hmm. into an area he probably wasn't expecting mm -hmm. so uh he, he, anybody want to yeah i i was gonna say i really like the way this film makes you feel the vulnerability of the character like he like mm -hmm. he gets into one thing after the other and you just feel like like man this guy he, he's gotta like get some kind of like something to defend himself because he's vulnerable like you know in mm -hmm. every way you know and so yeah, like this film draws you in right away. It does everything really well, and it's funny and interesting. Um, I'm glad you told me about this, Larry, because yeah. I, I I don't know when I would have seen it, but I had heard about it from the night before. The mm -hmm. film I saw the night before. So mm -hmm. well, now I never heard about the movie, but I was so glad that you suggested it huh. because it is a dark comedy. Mm -hmm. Very much. But it's super dark. <laughs> It, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a friend of mine, Gregory Gerard. He's purple black. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gregory. Anyway. <laughs> well, he was. That's what they <laughs> called him. <laughs> Dark comedies are now purple black. black. <laughs> you know, just well, stop this looking at thinking about. <laughs> well, this oh, was purple, black, dark. Blurple. <laughs> purple, <laughs> black. Man. But anyway, I thought it was blue, not... black, purple, no, black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a different anyway, level of Oh, black. no, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah I, blue, black I, is purple. I really yeah. liked it that's because purple. it did go to uh, to a turn to where it reminded me so much of Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah. Mm. You know. Uh, Seriously, I haven't um, I watched... Like, I haven't watched that series yet. But so, so much of the stuff was just like, why? What, which way? I didn't know which way they were going. Oh, really? They went <laughs> in so many different directions at one time. And even, even when I was able to finally kind of settle down and lock into the movie mm -hmm. and s start trying to figure things out, um, I I I was I was just way behind the times. Mm 
um, there were certain things I, I was, oh, well, it's like this, it's like that. Mm -hmm. But still in paying attention to the movie, man, I, I, I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, it, kept, it kept me wondering because I was going, well, why this? And why that? Why is this happening? Yeah. And why are they allowing this? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, because, of course, I put myself in there. Right, right. And, you know, there was things of, oh, this guy, I would have just punched him in his mouth. Oh, this guy. But I wasn't Eisenberg's character. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, um, which, of course, that... that that being said, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done those things. Mm -hmm. um, but the way he 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 comes out of his shell, I'm I, I just thoroughly enjoyed the movie. <laughs> thoroughly well, enjoyed. You the know, movie. one thing I was gonna say. I'm sorry. I, I know I went off on a tangent earlier, but the mm -hmm. thing is, Jesse Eisenberg seems to pick certain kinds of films, and this film is dark. Mm -hmm. But those other two films, I tried to talk about Vivarium and. Um, Squid, the and Squid and the Whale well are all dark That's another films, film that and he's really was, uh, good in this type of from. films. This is like a perfect role for him. This is a perfect film for well, him. Well, he kind of fits that, you know, that nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed this movie a lot too, and, and not just I was I was afraid of picking another martial arts based movie after you know because <laughs> I I could easily pick. Each one of my movies is that, but I don't want to mm -hmm. do that. But and it's not really. It is and it isn't. You know, it's not about that. It's more about like what, what is masculinity? You know, he's his character is kind of like not considered that, and he gets pushed into being this kind of like stereotypical kind of like overly masculine mm -hmm. kind of traits and stuff. And like, what is you know, it, what is healthy and what is not? I I thought it kind of did that and there's even the female character but character played by Imogene Poots who gets you know she's she's taking karate they're all and she's like the best student there but she does I mean it's the whole it's the whole I don't want to say allegory but for women that's always the case with us you know we could be the best at something but we can never get to the top we're always kind of kind of kept back yeah for, because it did show uh -huh. a glass ceiling yeah yeah um and it was a cement block. Yeah, it was a cement block. That's it pretty was, well, that's a good one. Yeah, it, it was yeah. just like you're, Yo, you is, can yeah. You you can you can, yo sure you can go higher, uh -huh. but you have to get through the cement block that has steel in it that Yeah, then yeah, did, whenever if she you did yeah. happen to come through. And I she would was shoot willing you to kill you. And she was willing mm -hmm. to do all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I it was I thought of the guy who played the karate instructor, his name is Alessandro Nivola hilarious he cracked he was hilarious and scary at the same time yeah, yes. i agree with you this movie you could it didn't you couldn't see where it was going but not that in a good way it's not like oh i don't doesn't make any sense you're following along it's like i i've gotta i can't figure out what's gonna happen next but mm -hmm. i'm i'm into this story i'm in, along for the ride mm -hmm. and it goes to places you you're not expecting you, mm -hmm. i don't think it doesn't it doesn't kind of predict itself and, and no, you know, no you know it doesn't you know kind of like yeah telegraph its way through which was really cool but i i just like like you know for me i appreciated that female character somebody who's taking martial arts and stuff mm -hmm. and because uh, it's funny i at one point i saw she had on these shoes and <laughs> you know, i was like i've got a pair of those oh my god <laughs> i feel like i feel mm -hmm. terrible now but no but i so i could relate to her struggle his struggle as this kind of very you know emasculated male in a world that does not treat these kinds of guys well at all so he has to like you know learn how to be this super masculine craziness there's, and to, there's to like feel like he's accepted and strong and mm. and stuff and i don't know you know he kind of finds in like an nbt he does kind of get that self-confidence in the end mm. But he uses his brain right. more than that, you know, overpowering somebody mm. to kind of resolve his, his issue itself. Mm. So, so I thought that was kind of interesting. And well, one of the things that I thought it did brilliantly where it was 
funny and scary at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's like the masculinity was like on steroids times a hundred. Yeah, yeah. The nerdiness was on steroids, steroids times, times a hundred. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, so yeah. It was, because it was like, no one can be nobody. That yeah, nobody is. It's very much an exaggeration on both ends. Yes. Yeah. And it 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 came together so brilliantly. Mm -hmm. I really I really liked that sh that movie. <laughs> I really liked the movie. I was scared. It uh -huh. it it brewed a lot of different emotions mm -hmm. in me. I, I was gonna mention y'all. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's important to mention this. There's mm -hmm. this like like humor that runs throughout this film that's really kind of like subtle and really like like clever at the same time like mm -hmm. I don't want to give stuff away but like there's this this uh, running story about the the founder of this dojo and right. how he he died some <laughs> <laughs> horrible he had excruciating this, yeah. death or it, yeah he I had mean this, you know but like it's all by accident it, it's that just, he never taught his yeah and it's, do, it's done deadpan but it's done really well I think yeah. like if it was in like le the hands of a lesser talented mm -hmm. filmmaker or whatever or, or actors it wouldn't be as good as it is you mm -hmm. know like I think that's one thing about it that it has this unique mm -hmm. quality to it but it works really well mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. it's a unique film I can't compare it to anything else really. yeah. no I there is there is nothing to compare yeah. it to. Mm -hmm. one last thing I just wanted to bring up is like the me the martial arts fan and I've taken you know if I've practiced it and studied it I, I kind of cracked up because they do that kind of attitude like I said, they, that mm -hmm. that exists, mm -hmm. and they they crank it up to like eleven, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> which is like I, I, I cracked up because Alessandra Nivola reminds me of Christopher Guest. So I should mention but, this. Uh, I'll go ahead, Laura. Yeah, sorry. it just it kind of cracks me up because that attitude is out there, and that's the kind of yeah. like those are the kind of people I like. I, I steered away from. Right, <laughs> like, right, I right. wasn't that. I, that's who <laughs> not. I was like, no, I'm. <laughs> That's not the kind of schools I was looking for or want to or anything right, right. like that intentionally, but they're they're out there, so that it makes a lot of fun of those, which is hilarious to me. I told you all this uh, when we watched it, but I had seen the, the movie Bavarium the night before, and that's a mm -hmm. movie about people who go to a house and they never leave, and mm -hmm. this is ironically they go enough, to a, a dojo a, a and never leave. A person who goes to a dojo and you, and you can never leave the dojo. Yeah, that you can never that's leave That's basically it, yeah. the plot of this movie. <laughs> yeah. So, with yeah. that being that's said, what, I guess we could... That's true. That's yeah. true. So. I guess we could wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the, the Art of Self-Defense starring Jesse Eiberg, Eisenberg, uh, like I said, Alessandro Nivola, who's great in it, uh, and Emma Jean Poots, who's also great and, and has a unfortunate name and all but I highly recommend it highly recommend it it's on Hulu right now um, let us know in the comments what you think and yeah 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 I don't even know if that's a real poll this, this <laughs> I gotta. I did. I don't whatever. even know what I did. I just so did some just like said, whatever. I'm like Ole. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's coming out of the sky to hit me in the head with their oh foot my gosh, or something. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Uh, I oh, gotta get you some gum. Yeah, yeah we're whipping through these.